actually built one of the jumps up there as well. And I don't know, it looks like Napoleon Bonaparte is currently walking through the racetrack. Part of the launch team is Napoleon. He's come back to life just to launch the cars. Amazing. Give them a big cheer as they go up the runway. Ladies and gentlemen, you might have wondered what the other vice was, or who the other vice was. That's Laura. Give Laura a big cheer on the finish line. Laura, you can see the future as princess or something. Probably not. There we go. Does that make you the Duchess of Dunmo? <laughs> yes, yeah. The Duchess of Dunmo. That sounds like an ITV series right there, doesn't it? Really does. <laughs> oh, here they come. Now we've got to do is find him a crash helmet. So uh, uh, if we can find a crash helmet, we have now found our driver. So ladies and gentlemen, 
A big cheer. It's got some speed on it. Going for that slippery stuff, here we go. Into the slalom. Godspeed racing, they're looking back just to see whether they're gonna make it through. It seems to be slowing down, it almost is grinding to a halt. As we come to the jump, you don't want that because you need some speed going over this jump. Have we got any pushers? Lean forward, guys, to get over this. Oh, it's stuck, halfway on the jump. And we're being helped now by some of our wonderful heroes in the high viz. Can they make it restart again? I don't think they are. Oh, he's got out of the car. He's pushing it. They're waving their hands in the air. They're doing some sort of dance. I don't know what it means. They're pushing it like a shopping trolley. Yeah. Oh, Over the 
GT kicker. Former white guy. Hitting the slalom. Well, he hasn't crashed just yet. I'm socially distanced, doing very well coming up to that final jump.